Six engineers have been trying to build a home in Olympus Mons. Last time, Mike broke his mobile missile launcher in two, and now he needs Rev to bring his heavy lifting ship, the Trinity Porter, to help him fix it. You won't get to see that though, because I'm busy laying out parking spaces for all our small grid ships. And then we just build another long tube going that way. Woof. Mm-hmm. Oh no, the grids are falling apart. <laughs> No, of course they haven't, because I'm competent, you fool. <laughs> ah, well. Oh, but I have run out of components. Okay, what, what one's portering? I've seen you I trying to flip things before, Rev. I, I worry, yeah, exactly, that you're going to clang me. Uh, oh, I see. Are you, you going to build the part the right way around? I'm with you. Okay. Yes, that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. Oh, okay. Aussie X. Yeah. Do I want the connector that the elephant is going to land on? to be yes. above ground or flush with the ground. Uh, Bearing in mind that this can rotate out the way. Mm, uh, flush is neater, although you might have a little bit of trouble with the um, landing gear. Right. I don't see why. Okay. Um, I mean, need to go... Okay, forward slightly. Perfect. Uh, that is perfect. I'm not going to get any better. You need to go. That. You need to go slightly right. Oh, I'm just going to get out and check. That you can't build a vision that. Look at you, that. You that's perfect. Go, you know, it's not perfect. It it's 100 percent perfect. No, it's not on this side. Actually, it needs to rotate. It's um, not. It's not in. Uh, it's not. This side isn't even in. Rev. Like, what's not in? This side here. Look at it. It's not even in. I mean, it's it not is like... Rev ship that gets thrown yeah. into the floor if it's not lined up <laughs> straight. So I'd be inclined to take his word on this. <laughs> uh, oh, do we not have any steel plates? Okay. I mean, I'm happy to try, Rev, if you really want I'll, to, but... I'll move a little... Hang on, I need to get oh, some... Yeah. Uh, Gosh, my energy low again. When he just recharged. Uh, oh. Welder's off, welder's on. You're on some kind of Death Star trench run theme, have you? Actually, now you mention it, RCX does strike me as the kind of person who would design that critical floor in the Death Star. <laughs> On what basis? I mean, I've seen your designs. <laughs> who was it who was ripping up the piss out of your code today before they knew it was yours? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. I did an interview thing with the code from you. Ah, uh, like, question. And. Yeah. Really? Well, hang on. What? You, you, had an in you had an interview where they were had your code as the example. Well, I no, mean, no, he I was, was giving running, the interview. I was running I see. the interview. I see. Like, you know, come up with the question. So I was like, well, I will take some of my code and ask them to code review it. Hello, who's and flying above me there? Me. And it was like, I deliberately chose a piece of code that was like, you know, not that was shit. very good. <laughs> shit. shit, I think. Uh, I would describe it as complete shit, but it had bugs in it, which was one of the things that I was to see if they caught up on and, uh, oh, we can't hear you anymore so, uh, yeah he, he actually asked does the person who wrote this code still work at this company <laughs> 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 and a part of the reason i picked that code was i was looking for the code to use i came across this function i was like ah oh, this is like a nice you know big non-trivial function to to do i was like okay well if i was reviewing this what would i say and i was like oh okay actually i have quite a lot to say about this <laughs> So it's probably a good example to use. I did then point it out afterwards when he asked who wrote it. I was like, yes, I wrote it. <laughs> it may have been a collaboration between uh, like me two years ago and like 3am up against deadline me and a few other versions of me because like a lot of code, it evolved over time. But uh, I, I was in fact like, you know, the one who wrote it. Ooh, there's a bit of a dust storm outside, isn't there? Whoa. Mm. Ah, so yes, I have Oops, the uh, interesting challenge here of uh, trying to weld the floor but not the wall. Uh, I will need to weld some of this wall though, because I would like to use it for uh, putting my tool changing things on. And it would also be nice to have more connectors in here, so is this where we're going? Oh no, we're going to have more connectors at the side yeah. of this, aren't we? So it's going to be the other side. This is temporary but less temporary. It's less in the way than the connectors on there, so I'm going to stick with this for now. You could also do temporary stuff from the ceiling as well, don't forget, because that's uh, not so in the way. 
Uh, that's true, but I can't put my upward facing connector on the ceiling. Oh, you, well, you can. Can't your ship fly upside down? Uh, no, it has no downward thrust. Ooh, wait. What do you mean? That's, that's a normal thing to do. It is can't a normal thing to do. Piloting abilities. Yeah, you're like, the, yeah, I guess the, the idea of putting thrusters on every part of the ship is, is kind is of Is that what you've been doing, Mr. Heaney? Is that why the Alpha Scar kill weighs yes. 500 tons? It, 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 may, it makes sense from Ed's viewpoint, to be fair. Although, oh, how does it make sense from Ed's well, viewpoint? Because Ed's probably going to crash it if he doesn't. Since then, however, I have learned a lot more about how to build vehicles. And as a result, there was only one downward thruster on the first one. So I don't know why the w I've done the walls in steel and not, and the floors in interior plates, no, interior blocks. It's a bit wasteful of steel. Are you, sure, are you just going to have a skirting board of steel then, and then redesign the rest of the interior blocks? Probably, yeah. It's temporary. Parking space is built. What's our next big plan? Are we well, going to go molest some pirates, or we, what are we up the to? The rest of the parking spaces? Apologies, I am just borrowing the cockpit for, cockpit for some energy. Whose cockpit are you borrowing? Mine. He, want, he, want, he, he wanted it so bad. Is a cockpit like an armpit? Okay, yeah, so can we get some horizontal drilling, please? What? Yes, yes that, that is not the kids are calling these days. Indeed. What do you wish drilled? Well, I'm glad you are asking. Um, the I'm corner just you're start. just illuminating. This corner. Oh, what? No, I would like this corner. Oh, oh as far back as the wall. Got it. As uh, the wall. I don't. I don't think it even needs to go that far back. I was assuming to the wall. The projection would be at the wall. So maybe. Maybe I was. I don't know. Because like this corridor doesn't really need to be this wide, right? I mean, no. it this be is an only the smaller ships are coming down here. So maybe I should have just built my connect. Maybe we should just start building connectors on this side. Well, I'm just drilling as far back as the edge of the projection for now, and we can. Uh, no, can you go further back than that? Sure. Actually, now, now that I've looked at the length of some of our ships, it doesn't have to go all the way to the back of here, but just a bit further back than this will do. Now that I have already put the conveyor in the place here for building that out. Maybe we should build it off this one instead. We just need obviously a network of pipes. Stand uh, back a bit and so yep. I can drill out the ball there without drilling you. Ah. Well, RCX using the uh, corner lights as attachment points for stairs there. Mm -hmm. I see you. Hmm, I do feel like we could do with a more rapid system for welding up these interior walls. Yes, well that's why I want to build a car for doing the floors. Ah, sorry, it's, we it's don't a... use the term car. Sorry, I want a static welder for welding the floors <laughs> on wheels. <laughs> well, build one. What's stopping you? Or is that well, what Mike's making? No, I've been trying to get far enough so that we can actually like have an interior space to build it on. Thing is, like, we'll it, it really needs discover. to be built on the same floor that we're trying to build. When he gets there, the, the, his, 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 his welding ship is probably going to destroy everything, and then he's fire a few missiles at it to fix them all. <laughs> <laughs> Explosive welding. Yeah, he'll, he'll have a warhead that actually just makes blocks appear. Um... Should I try building this rover then for two or this static welding rig on wheels? Uh, we could do it together. Uh, sure. How romantic. Okay. Go and put down the landing gear. Sure. Wow, I just died for running out of oxygen for, for the first time. We want That's it to good. be no more than three grids wide and probably two. Uh -huh. Two okay. would be better. And then we want it to have like things off the front the welders in uh, fact want to be coming down off the front they can be small grid because it's only welding the floor immediately around it yeah. doesn't really need to go through blocks you know you don't need to weld the landing gear up well uh, okay uh i don't think you're gonna need this many convert uh things cargo it's only welding up interior blocks. Yeah, but like, if you actually want a significant amount of cargo in like, uh, container-like space. Cargo for cargo's sake. 
Uh, is this in the front? If you will. Uh, I was thinking of it as some... Okay. Um, there is a mild question of where you put the uh, cockpit. Cockpit, but I suspect it needs to go above everything else. So we could do like uh, oops, a conveyor junction on the front here, uh, like that, and then welders either side of it. Uh, yeah. Or they just facing downwards. Would that work with the? the uh, I'm, not, work? I'm not sure no. how the spacing works. Uh. Like, can I put a welder on the bottom of that? No, not even with it up this far. I mean, my my thinking was a hinge and then some conveyor blocks, and then you could just tilt the hinge down. But we just don't need a hinge for this design, though. I mean, are you sure? Yes, but I mean, the key is if you look at the width of the wheelbase. The welders do kind of need to go out to the width of the wheels so that yeah. it can weld its own space. I don't think the wheels need to be this wide. I'm still like in favor of the hinge based design. So this this um, missile carrier is going to be rather wide. <laughs> yeah, like... you know how in, in, in sort of real life missile carriers are sort of long and thin? Yes, well, unfortunately... Yeah, but like... real-life missile carriers don't build the missile. <laughs> so, <else>, yeah. <laughs> uh, was that some ablative thrusters going on there? Not me. That was me. You do seem to be, like, in a little hole on your own. I not really in the main hole there. Well, you asked me to dig a hole for your con con conveyor. Well, I just wanted you to dig the existing hole a bit deeper. Look at where the conveyor is. This is as deep as it needs to go. Well, let us simply say that it is a bit deeper. It is a bit deeper. Did it exist deeper? Quite like the front of Panda, actually. Oh, I hate it. Oh, really? I just hate the whole Panda. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, right, I see. What? Uh, I just wasn't sure what this crazy block was that you'd stuck Although on it's here. not black and white, is it? I, I feel like it needed uh, more of a colour scheme. Could it be a red pen? Yeah, I was just RCX can only design monochromatic boxes. That's <laughs> not true. I mean, I I can only design monochromatic boxes. See if the Borg no, cuboid... Yeah, well... Whereas I designed the Borg Duke. cuboid actually is a more interesting shape than a box. Why a fighter cockpit? Uh, it's less cockpit. tall. It's the same height as a normal cockpit. Is it? Yeah, it's three blocks no. tall. It's just long. Okay, well in that case, never mind. But it looks less tall, and that's what's important. RCX. Yep. Had you thought about connectors for this ship? Uh, I put a connector on the back. Oh, I was thinking maybe the underside. Uh, it's a bit more difficult to get that to work with a um, wheel vehicle. We just have to fiddle but with the suspension height. That's true. Uh, yeah, that can but be done. The one you've got is fine. Uh, can we get it to a height that it can connect to the base, though? That's the real question. Okay. Um, also, I think we're building in, in Ed's parking space, actually. <laughs> uh, yes. You are... Ed, no, come no okay. lower. Okay, I... I... Well, at least two further back. Yeah. A little bit further back. That no, that was the right height. You were just too far left. And forward. Yeah. Uh, actually, we could do this as a rear wheel steering. Ooh, so. fancy. Yeah, I agree. I haven't seen what Mike's been up to before. Let's go have a look. I see how it's going. Uh, oh. Actually, resembling an actual usable ship now. Or crab. Hang on a sec. Uh, how high up does this connector need to be? Are you going to do it on the other side instead? Well, this is going to have a really wide um, wheelbase, isn't it, Mike? Yeah, yes, it is. <laughs> how, how's it, how are you feeling about turning circles? Uh, um, yeah, not much I could do about that, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. So, Mike, does that world of array actually build missiles yet? You're about yet? halfway in between them. 
Yes, well, it builds pseudo missiles. <laughs> like it's capable of building missiles if I put the right blueprint on it. It builds the thing, is your point. So the world it, can does actually work at present. It does work, yes. It can it can build stuff. Um oh, it, at the moment it builds a dummy missile rather than the actual missile because the dummy missile just requires steel, which is a lot easier to handle than something. No, that no, requires... no, I quite agree. I'm just saying, I'm first I'm first that you got it working. But yes, it does work. This connector height is, is not convenient. I mean, you could put the connector on the car onto the side of the welders. So that yeah, it's on the and has a digital height. That's true. It might be a bit faffy to get it up high enough to get to the connector because it wouldn't go low enough for the, a bottom connector. Yeah. I mean, there's also the option of building a little ramp out of half slabs for it to drive up. Yeah. Not a huge fan of that. Maybe the shoulder connector is the least bad option. Maybe. And it would look quite cool. It's like a pretty uh, quirky option, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking on the other side. What? I was thinking you'd have it on the right shoulder rather than the left shoulder. I mean, you can have one on either side. Just for the symmetries. <laughs> Are you putting a connector on the um, welding array? I might, uh, me yeah. or someone else. You're talking about RCX. Oh, okay, That's you haven't seen what funny. I've done then. The problem is you can't actually connect to this connector on your left side, as it is. Because the, there isn't a floor where you would like there to be floor. But there can be a floor if he welds it by driving over there, except he's Yeah, but he needs to connect. Before oh no, we start you might have to do some man manual welding. What? How Who does you? that? Uh, everyone. <laughs> oh. So I'm looking forward to the um to the as yet unnamed welding ship. Yeah, I see any uh, any suggestions for good names? The gelatory, the, the lawnmower man, because uh, it you know it has a lawnmower on the front. I need a lawn builder rather than a lawnmower, but whatever. It's so far the only ship we've built that can do press ups. Oh, Ed. Yeah. If you're handy, could you come and do my cockpit again, please? Is he handy? I, I am always handy. And in this case, I'm also quite close to Dan's cockpit. Thank you. Call him the handyman. <laughs> no way, that's Candyman. Well, I was thinking the handyman can, because he something did with love and made the world taste good. Is it, I think? <laughs> He's rather brought down because when you knocked, he thought you were the... Handyman. Handyman. Mike, where's your uh, new ship? Um, it's next to me. I don't I haven't got a beacon on it yet, so. This thing, the kind of yeah. awful midnight blue colour. Yeah, I mean, I need to colour it properly, but I'm not sure what colours to do yet. Holy cow, there's a, there's a thunderstorm and it's This, I mean, outside. it's not really built so far, though, well, is it? Does cause it's not finished. Up, doesn't it? It's not finished, no. <laughs> okay. Well, how do we know what it, what oh. shape it is unless it, until it's finished? Uh, I hold mean... on, you're going to go off the corner. <laughs> there. I need to fully weld it. There uh -oh, you go. Shit. Continue. Yeah! Oops. It's a bit nose heavy. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, have you considered a gyro? <laughs> Might be a good idea. I mean, it can. It, it has a stream mech, at least in that direction. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to just trying to build chaos two here? Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying your reverse wheelie. I think that's called an ND, isn't it? Endo, yeah. Uh, Uh, it needs to be a bit higher. Yep, yeah, I'm aware. See, I was going to say you should put the uh, batteries over the rear axle. That's probably fair. Uh, uh, let me know when it's... Higher. Magneted. Okay, that'll work well enough then. Locked. Thank you. But that's like the least aesthetically pleasing connector junction ever. What? It's amazing. 
I love it. <laughs> Interestingly, you can see quite a long way across Mars when you're just inside the um the gate, as if there's no dust outside, and then you move a, a, a meter forward, <laughs> and suddenly you can't see anything because of all the dust. Yeah. And you're thinking, this ain't the kind of place to raise a kid. <laughs> nice. And I think it's going to be a long, long time before you stop making that joke. Um, so what is the ratio? 25 to 10. Okay. What? No, it's quarter to 11. Ha, ha, ha. One pun. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, welders are live. Oh, you didn't put a safety on them? Uh, nope. Stop. Okay. Yeah, it's alright, I can see. I was just waiting for you to back off the hole in the floor there. That would be quite funny. Oh, that's pretty awesome. I'm just gonna oh, get yeah. a better view up here. Could have five, uh... Five welders on it, actually. Yeah, the one in the middle is not really very valuable. Well, I mean, it, like, it helps. So, I think go back, going faster. And it can weld, like, enough to, uh... Just be able to make its own path, which is good. What you want really is for the welders to be on a hinge going the other way so that when you're turning a corner, the welders turn into the <laughs> corner so they can weld in front of you. Okay, so now is the time to open betting on how long is it until RCX drives the little mower man <laughs> off the path that he has welded into the bottom of the cave. <laughs> It is now well, 22.48, so let's uh, <laughs> name the timestamp. If I could, I would start one of those Twitch prediction things. <laughs> I'm going to go... Mm, 20... I, I'm going to go 11 o'clock. <laughs> okay. Any advance? Higher or lower than 11? Uh, am I allowed to bet? <laughs> no. <laughs> I feel that would be a bit cheating. <laughs> Oof. What are we going to put under the floor in the side room? There's just the conveyors. We need an underground playground in here. And no, also... Just some conveyors. Uh, I, 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 I'm off with a suggestion. I the, mean, the, the whole thing is an underground playground? The dungeon of Mars. The, the ground is like 100 metres up there. Yeah, that's where we're going to keep Deja Thoris, is it? Indeed. <laughs> That was like literally all I wanted to weld up. <laughs> okay, yeah, you have a new parking site, Ed. Thank you. I shall use it next time I need to dock. And we could even build a little ladder or something so that you can get into your cockpit without jetpacking. <laughs> wow. Uh, that would I will leave that up to you. You keep, you, keep, you keep disputing it whenever I build one of those. Well, no, I only disputed the one that you built that was, like, unnecessarily on both sides and right in the way of the stairs. Uh, both sides. That's the, uh, that's the pro way to do it. Gotta have one of the captain, one of the co-pilot. You've only got one cockpit. It's gonna be very cosy for the captain and co-pilot. They better be good friends. <laughs> Are you, are you serious that you're putting these connectors here? I thought you wanted the big vehicle to park in this one. No, the big vehicle's going to park here. Hmm. That sure. down this end. And then the small okay. vehicles are all going to park along here. Well, sure. I mean, sure. We can move it further back if need be, but this seems to be a reasonable space for I now. I think it's sensible to have them all ranged on one side then, is it? Yeah, yeah I, I don't like cool. my one that the elephant's on now is going to be not there. Okay, that makes sense. It, it's temporary. I'm going to go make some friends with some pirate factions. Uh huh. How are you planning to make friends? And not destroying them? Is that because it is a glorious thing to be a pirate? I mean, it is quite a glorious thing. Will Rev be able to make friends with the pirates? Will we get all the vehicles inside before they get massacred by drones? Will Mike's missile truck save the day? I hope you'll join us again next time.